In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make sugar-free snake lollies. So if you've got a sweet tooth and you love lollies, well, keep on watching. This one's for you. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alexis, sports dietitian and nutrition coach. Welcome again to one of my recipe videos. Now, before we get into today's recipe, do remember to subscribe and also ring that bell so you can stay in the loop and know exactly when I release a new video. So today's recipe is simply a alternative version of lollies. Okay, nice and simple. Lollies is one of those classic foods that people that have sweet tooth tend to eat. Now, I'm not the biggest lolly person myself. I'd honestly prefer something like chocolate instead of lollies, but I do enjoy jelly life, okay? So sugar-free jelly. And that is why today's recipe is gonna be using this as the main ingredient. And it's one that's actually very, very useful because as you would know from watching other videos of mine, I'm a big fan of using jelly as part of volume eating. It helps you feel more fuller while you're trying to stick to a calorie deficit. And because it's got flavor and sweetness, it still hits that spot and can feel not decadent, but it can feel like a treat, even though it's necessarily not necessarily gonna be giving you all those calories. So just simply think of this as a macro-friendly version of lollies. And it's not to say that you can't enjoy normal lollies, okay, there's a place for that thing in your diet there as part of flexible nutrition. This is simply for when you wanna have more of it, for less calories, or when you feel like you just don't wanna have lollies all the time, you wanna have something alternatively that's gonna have a bit more of a caloric balance to it, and something that's gonna not hit you with a, as much sugar as typical lollies would be. So yeah, if you got a sweet tooth, if you want to find out how to make a lolly that doesn't have calories, or minimal calories, it does have some, okay? It does have some, but not as much as you would think, then keep on watching, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Let's show you the ingredients, it's nice and simple. All you need is literally free ingredients. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, it's a lot different to my usual recipe videos where there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. There's literally only free. Well, including water, there's four, but I'm not gonna count water as part of it. So obviously we're gonna get some jelly light. Now this is the one I have around in the house, a strawberry flavor. You can choose any one you want. It doesn't really matter. Go for lime, pineapple, raspberry. Honestly, the world's your oyster when it comes to that choice. We're gonna be using some gelatin powder. Okay, so basically one of the ingredients that are actually in here, but we wanna make this more gelatin-like, we wanna make it more lolly-like, so we're gonna be using some of this. And then I'm gonna be adding this. So this is different to the usual recipe. Now, the recipe came about on, on TikTok a lot lately, that's where I found out about how to you know, make this kind of snake lolly version. So theirs had citric acid, you can just use something else if you want, like this, just to add a bit more sweetness to it. So I'm just gonna use a bit of this, just to add a bit more sweetness to it. But you don't have to, you could literally just put that away, Use this and water and you'll be good to go. Okay, so let's show you how to make this. It goes to the next step. Okay, so we grab our scale, zero it out, put on a bowl, zero it out again. To be honest, probably didn't need to zero out the first time, but oh well, doesn't really matter. So what we'll do now is grab ourselves some of this jelly. So what we're gonna do is literally just grab the two packets that are inside, okay? Two packets and that's all you'll need. So what we do is Just rip it up and put it in there, like that. This stuff's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you've made jelly before, but we're gonna show you either way. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna zero out again. I'm gonna be adding 12 grams of this, okay? 12 grams, I'm gonna be watching it. Nine. 11, oh, 10, 11, keeps jumping around. Come on. There we go, 12. Done, okay, so now that that's done there. Now what you can do is add a tablespoon of this in there. You can add just one tablespoon, you can add more, you can add less. Like I said, you don't need to add, add this. I'm just adding this because I want to test out extra sweetness, but whatever you want. And I'm just gonna go for a tablespoon, like that, done. So what we'll do now, obviously, keep this out here because we'll need it, is we're gonna grab ourselves over 250 mils or a cup of boiling water, okay? Just pour that in there and mix it well, okay? You're gonna make sure it's not clumpy. It's gonna be a bit more of a thicker consistency than you're used to for the jelly because the volumes are a bit different because we're not making jelly, we're making lollies, okay? Oops, just trying not to get it anywhere. And don't do what I just did there. You're wasting precious jelly by the way now, and that's not what we want. Okay. 
that right there could be a gram, okay? A gram of lollies that you could be enjoying, <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's looking about right, okay? So that's looking about right. Chuck away the spoon. Okay, so the next step is where you just hold that there, grab yourself like a squarish, as you can see, it's about a hand size, okay? About a squarish kind of bacon tray. You can use a rectangle, doesn't really matter. Just saying about roughly that size. Line it with some baking paper, obviously. And what we're gonna do is just gently pour that to cover the bottom, okay? As you can see, there's still some around there, but that's not gonna be a worry. That's to be expected. And any loss in sweetness is gonna be more than made up for my use of Stevia, okay? Not saying this brand, you can use whatever brand you want. Okay, that's just the one I have. Okay, so that's it done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this in the fridge for at least four hours. You know, I just, with jelly, what I'll do is just put it in there, leave at least four or so hours and just check it and see if it's ready, it's ready. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and then we'll show you what to do next. Okay, so while that jelly lolly mixture is getting ready in the fridge, I just wanna kind of quickly hop on here and just mention a few alternative things you can do with it. So I did kind of hint at the start that there are alternate ways of doing this. And yes, the trend, like the, the TikTok trend that came out with this recipe, it was traditionally a sour based lolly. So instead of adding the tablespoon of the stevia, okay, which I wanted to add for some extra sweetness, you can actually add citric acid. I didn't have something in my house and I wanted to do a bit of an alternative one. Didn't really feel like having sour lollies. I just want some normal tasty lollies that are gonna fill me up. So I just went with the normal stevia. But you can use citric acid and just add a tablespoon of that to the mixture and that's gonna add that sour lolly flavor to it if that's what you're looking for. Other alternatives is you can add in like ice trays, okay? So you can grab yourself like some ice trays, you can do different like shapes in that if you really want to, and those fancy ones, or you can just get some normal ice cube trays and what you do is pour it into those and then you literally have little kind of gummy lollies you can kind of eat on the go. So that's just something to consider if you want to uh, try something alternatively to the snake lollies and also alternatively to just the normal sweet lollies, you can make them sour by adding citric acid. Hope that gives you some more ideas. Just want to say that before we get into the actual eating of the lollies. Okay, so we're gonna wait until this is all ready, then we're gonna hop on here, show you how to prepare the next step, and we're gonna do a taste test, tell you exactly how many calories and macros are in this, and as always, go from there. Talk soon. Many hours later. Okay, so it's all ready, and this is what it's gonna look like. Very thick, okay? It's not like traditional jelly where it's like jiggling around everywhere because of the extra gelatin and how concentrated it was. So it's gonna make a great lolly. So let's do the next step. So basically, we just pull this out, obviously. Put that aside. And then now what we're gonna to do to make these snake lollies, we're just gonna cut it lengthwise, okay? But just bear with me. Obviously, we'll get a chopping board, so there we go. Done. Okay, let's grab our knife. Just kind of do your best. Cut them as best as you can into snake-like ribbons, okay? <laughs> okay, so that. But you don't want to watch me cut all this, so with the magic of YouTube, there we go. All sliced up. So as you can see, they're all like in like snake-like ribbons, hence the old snake lollies. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just put it into a bowl. How you would normally eat lollies. Now you can cut these up however you watch where you want. Like I said before, you can make them in ice cubes if you want. Or you can even slice these up into little blocks. Honestly, does not matter at all. There we go. Looks pretty good. Let's taste test. Okay, so here we go. Time for the taste test, and I'm gonna tell you how much calories is in this, which is honestly hardly anything. And it's in technically got some protein. I'll explain in a second. But as you can see, the texture is actually very good. Okay, like it honestly feels like I've just bought a bag of lollies. Obviously it looks like, you know, bootleg versions of snakes, as if someone just like, you know, chopped it off randomly and gave it to you, which is kind of what we did really, when you think about it. But let's give it a taste test, because that's gonna be the more important thing. Does this actually taste good? 
Could this be used as an alternative to lollies for when you want just a big thing of lollies that's actually going to keep you full because it's pretty much mostly water and it's actually not going to kind of put out your macros too much. So let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Basically, it tastes as good as like jelly. Okay, so like jelly light. So, if you like jelly light and you like how that flavor is and this sweetness that's used in all that sort of stuff, especially that extra sweetness that I've added with the stevia, then you're gonna enjoy this. The texture is actually very good. Like, honestly, like lollies. That's what it is. Now, I'm curious what the, the sour, I'm not a big sour lolly person, but I reckon the sourness probably adds just that bit of extra zing to this recipe. But like I said, I didn't have any citric acid. Couldn't be bothered buying something just for a batch of this when I really am not a big sour person. But I'm interested to see how well that tastes. And now I said, red steaks are a classic one. And I had strawberry jelly, so that's the one I went with. You can go for anything else. You can go for like the the lime ones if you want. Okay, so that's a, that's a good, I actually quite like it. Now, does it taste like normal lollies and that same level of sweetness? No. But I've said it time and time again, when you do these alternative recipes, they're not to fully replace, okay? They're not there just to fully replace the, the lollies you, you know, love and enjoy. That there's an alternative for days when maybe you're like, okay, I've had too many lollies this week, or I don't have many calories left, or I want something that's a bit more filling, well, this is gonna hit the spot. And when you look at the actual breakdown, this is the actual breakdown now of the calories for this, is 55 calories for that whole batch that I showed you, okay, 55 calories for that whole batch, and 13 grams of protein. Now, I'm not here to say this is a protein snack, it's not. It's from gelatin, okay, the protein comes from gelatin, so it's the very incomplete protein, so, you know, it's not gonna be the make or break for your intake, but technically it gives you some protein. So if you're eating enough protein a day, this will give you a bit of an extra boost, I guess. And it'll give you some collagen. So there's some, you know, there's some upcoming research in collagen, which is always good. But yeah, it's 55 calories. I mean, where are you gonna get lollies that's gonna give you this many lollies for 55 calories? You're not gonna find that, okay? And that's what the purpose of the video is. If you want like a low calorie thing that kind of mimics a lolly, it still tastes pretty good. This one's for you. So now what I want you to do is I want you to create these yourself. Do it like I did, or maybe add that tablespoon of citric acid instead to make them sour. Don't really care. I just want to know how they went for you, okay? So post them up on Instagram or Facebook, and then tag me at The Climbing Dietitian so I can see your creation to see how much you enjoyed it. And drop a comment below, okay? Drop a comment below. What's your favorite lolly ever, okay? Like I said, I'm not a big lolly person, but you know, if I were to choose, I do quite like gummy bears, and I do like those peaches and cream ones. I don't know if you taste them, the peaches and cream ones, they're quite nice to me. Hit the like button if you like this recipe, if you enjoyed this snack that I created today. And as always, subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can stay in the loop whenever I release a recipe video like this, or when I'm doing one of my educational videos, teaching you how to level up your nutrition and become a better field athlete. Until next time, stay classy, have a good one. See you later, bye.